Hi, I'm Jose Gonzalez with Trek Bicycles and we're here in Châtel, France uh, introducing the 2011 models and uh, here with me I have the 2011 Remedy and I want to tell you a little bit about the tuning we did. Uh, starting off with the fork, we have a custom piston and valve stack on the compression side of things and uh, that was specifically done to balance the fork more so with the feel of the rear end, the DRCV rear end. Um, what it does is it allows you to run a little more low speed compression without impacting uh, the bump sensitivity. So it offers a little more chassis control, uh, more uh, steep descent control and so on, but still allows it to respond to uh, the high frequency. The main difference is that it goes to a two port design versus a three port design that's on the standard system. And it also uses a much larger base shim that allows the valve to lift quicker and with a uh, greater area so it allows the fork to respond while still maintaining hold. On the rear end, uh, we uh, focused on tuning the rebound. What we did is we found that the uh, small bump or small amplitude um, response was really good but we wanted a little more control on the large amplitude big hits such as a water bar and so on and we came up with uh, a different configuration for the rebound uh, shim valve and what it does is initially the response of the valve is similar to the the standard one but after it uh, deflects to a given point this additional shim valve kicks in and uh, restricts the flow of the oil uh, a little bit more and gives it more end stroke control uh, eliminating that kickback on water bars and so on so it allows you to ride more aggressively through all types of terrain. Here we have the 2011 Scratch and on the 2011 Scratch you'll notice that we went to the new Fox 36 180 fork. Um, this is arguably the best single clamp fork uh, the sport has seen and uh, it's, it's a great balance be between capability and uh, weight and so on. Uh, it has the new inverted uh, damper and that has high and low speed placed on the top of the fork so it's much more uh, readily usable and, and easier to adjust. But really where we focused our work is on the rear shock and scratch we have the, the RC4 which has been extensively tuned to give it the uh, performance characteristics that we were after. Uh, the settings are derived from some of the work that we did with TWR for the World Cup circuit and uh, it's a pretty extensive retune. Uh, it required us to retune the main piston valve, the high speed uh, valve that's in the transfer passageway, and then the boost valve that is housed in the reservoir. What we did on the main piston is we went to a lighter valve that is uh, staged, so there's two stages. One stage works independent of the other. Um, and then we also retune the high-speed valve to be a step piston with a lighter stack. What that allows you to do is run more low-speed compression for enhanced chassis control and hold, but still not compromising uh, high-frequency small bump sensitivity. And then finally, we, uh, we retuned the uh, compression ratio of the boost valve, which means that uh, when the boost valve kicks in, it's a more linear effect. It doesn't ramp up uh, as much as it did in uh, previous tunes. And all three things combined uh, allow the shock to have a little more chassis stability, but better push through the mid-stroke, which will allow uh, the rider to take advantage of the travel available more consistently. It will go through mid-stroke much more readily on the mid-size bumps and, and give you a, a more consistent use of travel and uh, still maintain that bottom-out control and big hit capability.